Princess Stephanie of Monaco is among the most controversial royals globally. She has consistently led an unconventional life and was dubbed the rebellious princess. Her relationship with her bodyguard sparked a significant scandal in the early 90s. Although her father, Prince Rainier III, was initially against their relationship, they eventually got married. However, just one year after tying the knot, they divorced amid a major scandal. What led to Stephanie filing for divorce from her husband? And what do their two children look like after over 30 years? Watch the full video to find out. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to get notified as I upload a new video. Let's go on. Legend has it that the Grimaldi family has been cursed for around 700 years. Various versions of the story exist. But the most famous says that a witch cursed the family so that they would never have happy marriages. In 1956, Prince Rainier III married American actress Grace Kelly, and they had three children. However, tragedy struck in 1982 when the former actress died in a car accident. Their daughter, Princess Caroline, experienced three failed marriages. Firstly, she married Philip Junot in 1978. Their union ended in divorce in 1980. She then with Stefano Casaraki in 1983. They had three children together, but he died in 1990 in a speed boating accident at only 30 years old. Princess Caroline's third marriage to Prince Ernst August of Hanover in 1999 reportedly ended in separation in 2009. Prince Albert, another member of the family, married athlete Charlene Whitstock in 2011, and they have two children. However, rumors of an unhappy relationship have persisted since their wedding day, when reports emerged that Charlene attempted to flee and sought refuge in her embassy. She was seen crying throughout the ceremony, appearing distressed. Princess Stephanie shared the same fate as many other members of the Grimaldi family. She was always unhappy in love, and all her marriages ended in divorce. Born to Princess Grace and Prince Rainier of Monaco, Princess Stephanie grew up accustomed to the public spotlight. As the youngest child in the family and only 14th in line to the throne, her parents never seriously considered her as an heir and allowed her too much. Her mother often referred to her as the wild child due to her early displays of rebelliousness. Princess Stephanie enjoyed privileges that most girls could only imagine, living in the palace and having almost anything she desired. However, the fairy tale life of a princess belied its challenges. When she was 17, Princess Stephanie and her mother were returning home from their farm by car and had an accident. As a result, Princess Grace Kelly tragically passed away and Stephanie was hospitalized with serious injuries. The young girl could not attend her mother's funeral because of the trauma. When she found out the truth, she was shocked by this tragic news. But the worst thing was that many people and the press began to blame her for the accident and the death of her mother, who was adored by everyone in Monaco. Rumors circulated that Stephanie was driving at the time and lost control of the car. However, the truth was that her mother was behind the wheel that day. She suffered a stroke while driving, leading to the loss of control and the accident. In an interview, Princess Stephanie said, there was a lot of pressure on me because everyone was saying that I had been driving the car, that it was all my fault, that I'd killed my mother. It's not easy when you're 17 to live with that. However, Princess Stephanie realized she miraculously survived and seemed to have received a second chance. The young princess decided to live life to the fullest do only what she wants and not pay attention to social prejudices. After recovering from the accident, she began to lead a glamorous lifestyle and date several famous men. Despite her royal status, Princess Stephanie ventured into the world of modeling, gracing the covers of prestigious publications such as German Vogue and Vanity Fair. Additionally, she explored her talents in pop music, achieving considerable success with her 1986 single, Irresistible, which sold over 2 million copies across Europe. However, her pursuits were met with disapproval from the royal family, particularly her father, Prince Rainier III, who was deeply troubled by her choices. But the princess never listened to anyone. Moreover, 
she began to start more and more scandalous love relationships. In 1992, when Stephanie was 27 years old, she began a relationship with her bodyguard. Naturally, her father was opposed to this controversial romance, which caused a significant scandal at that time. Daniel de Cruet, the son of a farm worker, worked as a fishmonger before being hired as the princess's bodyguard. Stephanie and Daniel fell in love at first sight. The first time we met, we exchanged glances, and we couldn't stop looking at each other, Daniel told People magazine in 1992. Despite how romantic it may seem from the outside, it didn't appear that they had the full approval of the royal family. Prince Rainier was horrified by the relationship. Not only was Daniel an employee, but his then-girlfriend was also six months pregnant with their child. However, Stephanie paid no heed to her father's objections and followed her heart. In November 1992, Stephanie gave birth to their first child, Louis de Cruet, followed by a daughter, Pauline, two years later. In order for their children to be recognized as legitimate and eligible for succession to the throne, Stephanie needed to marry Daniel, at least in a civil ceremony, an arrangement eventually accepted by Rainier. On July 1, 1995, the couple got married in a civil ceremony at the Palace of Monaco. Stephanie and Daniel already had two children together and did not want to get lots of media attention, so the wedding was not a lavish affair and no reception was held. Stephanie wore a white lace May dress with no veil or tiara. After the wedding, Daniel often accompanied his wife to royal events, and they appeared happy. However, just one year later, a scandal erupted when Daniel was photographed in the arms of a stripper and Miss Bear Breasts of Belgium named Philly Houtman. Paparazzi captured them during a rendezvous, and the images made their way into the press. Daniel claimed he was drugged and set up by the photographers. But the damage was done. The scandal became too much for the royal family to bear, and Stephanie had little choice but to divorce him. Daniel was not only expelled from the palace, but also banished from Monaco by Prince Rainier. The couple officially divorced on October 4, 1996. Two years after the divorce, Princess Stephanie gave birth to her third child, a daughter named Camille. When the girl was born, her father's name was not listed on her birth certificate. Later, it was revealed that Jean Raymond Gottlieb, the head of security at the palace, is the father. Stephanie's relationship with Jean Raymond was kept secret and never officially confirmed. As a result of her parents never marrying, Camille is not in line for the throne. Princess Stephanie caused an even greater scandal in 2001 when she fell in love with a married elephant trainer, Franco Ney, and traveled with him and his circus. According to a British documentary, Stephanie joined the circus and moved into Nye's trailer with her three children from previous relationships. However, this unconventional romance lasted only a year, allegedly due to Franco's wife's refusal to grant him a divorce. The princess who travels with the circus. What could be more strange? In 2003, Princess Stephanie married a Portuguese acrobat, who was a member of Franco's circus ensemble. However, the marriage ended in divorce just one year later. Today, Princess Stephanie is 59 years old. It seems that the former wild child of Monaco has settled down, preferring to surround herself with family. Her children are now grown up. Her eldest child, Louis, is 31 years old, married, and has a daughter. Pauline is 29 years old. She is a fashion designer who founded her own brand, Alter Design, in 2018. Camille is 25 years old, and she is considered to be the only Monaco royal who bears a strong resemblance to her movie star grandmother Grace Kelly. Princess Stephanie and her ex-husband Daniel still have a good relationship, and they often appear together with their children. Since her last divorce, Stephanie has never remarried. Perhaps she realized that she is unlucky in love, or maybe she came to believe that her family was indeed cursed, and she would never have a happy marriage. Do you believe that the Grimaldi family was cursed by an evil witch? Share your thoughts in the comments. And that's it. If you enjoyed the video and want more like it, be sure to leave a thumbs up below in appreciation. And if you haven't already, 
You really want to subscribe. Subscribe to my channel and tick the bell icon so you get notified as I upload a new video every week. See you in the next video.